Just to change the tack a little, does uh, God come into Buddhism at all? God as some kind of creator? Well, you might say that God makes his appearance briefly and then uh, thinks better of it and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the, the figure of God does appear in some Pali scriptures, yes. but he is regarded as a rather ridiculous <coughs> being who attaches too much importance to himself and doesn't really possess the, 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 uh, the, the powers that he believes he possesses or so the knowledge. Uh, so what exactly is this God in the Pali scriptures and also in the, of course, the Mahayana sutras yeah. and these you get the gods, the devas, who or what are well, they? Well, there are two things to be distinguished here. Um, mm. Buddhism does believe in a hierarchy of existence. It believes at the bottom of the scale there's animals, then there's human beings, and then there are gods of various kinds that are still mundane. They're still subject to all sorts of weaknesses, just as human beings are and they're born and they die and are reborn. So Buddhism does recognize the existence of gods with a small g in this sense. But over and above the world, the cosmos, the samsara, as, as we call it, over and above this whole mundane process, there is no personal god with a big g, no god in any sense directing everything. There is only the supra-personal, transcendental, reality, which doesn't mean that that suprapersonal transcendental reality excludes personality, hmm? Hmm. but uh, it certainly is not itself totally personal. Hmm. Have, can I ask you a personal question? Have you ever personally believed in God, as I, in the Christian God? I don't think I've ever believed in God. I think even when I was nominally a Christian and still going along to church, I, I don't have any rec recollection of believing in God. I certainly had some belief in Jesus, which is perhaps rather a different thing, yes. but not belief in God. But not as the Son of God? Uh, I, I can't recollect for sure. Uh, I don't think I had any sort of fixed theological you know, view of the, of the nature of uh, Jesus as the Son of God, but more mm. perhaps as a, as, a, as a good man, a holy man, a mm. teacher. I don't think it went beyond that, despite all I heard about God you know, when I went to church. And I was going regularly for four years. Mm. How old were you at that, that from time? From about uh, 11 to 15. That was from your own choice, presumably? And that was through my own choice, partly because I was uh, interested in the social activities you know, connected with the church. That's how it started. Mm. I joined uh, a boys' brigade unit, which happened to be connected with a particular church, as all boys' brigade units are. And I you know, was encouraged to go along to the church, which I did. And I, you know, I quite in, enjoyed going along. But uh, I certainly never, at any time, had a definite belief in God, mm. a certain admiration for the figure of Jesus, mm. with reservations. Mm. But uh, God simply didn't come into the picture at all. I, I was, as it were, a born non-theist. Mm. And there was no God talk in my home. Mm. Uh, my father never spoke in terms of God, nor did my mother, nor did anybody else whom I knew. Mm. And even the, the, the vicar, when he dropped in on us, actually he wasn't a vicar, he was a minister, had dropped in on us. I think he also even was, was quite careful not to say anything about God. <laughs> 